Hey guys, okay, so the new Bloodhaven map just released. I already have a tutorial posted on just the general basis of the game, how day and night cycles work, corruption, all the new rules. This is going to be specifically for tasks. This is the new Bloodhaven map, and we're going to be going over a lot of the different tasks that are in the game. All right, so while we are going over the tasks in Goose Goose Stuck, it is important to keep in mind that on this specific map, it is actually really important to get your tasks done. Now, most of the time in social deduction games like Goose Goose Stuck and Among Us, you have to complete your task in order for the geese to win. A lot of people that are geese or crewmates tend to not really care if they get a task win since usually the percentage of them actually winning from this is fairly low. They would rather walk around, figure out, investigate who the ducks are, and then vote them out that way. So a lot of the times when people are geese, they also rely on the sheriff and the vigilante to go out of their way and actually kill instead of calling a meeting the people that they are suspicious of. Well, now on the new Bloodhaven map, uh, not only will tasks still allow you to get a task win, but it also cures your corruption. There's a lot of corruption going on on this map, and you will walk around and slowly pick up corruption as you're playing the game. Corruption is good for ducks. Uh, corruption is not good for geese, though. And the only way to get rid of your corruption is, again, by completing the tasks. So we are going to go over all the tasks in the new Bloodhaven map so you guys know how to do a lot of the tasks. A lot of them are returning, some of them are very new. And I'm going to make a totally separate video on how corruption works the day and night cycles. Um, that will be uploaded immediately after this video. If you guys have played Goose Goose Duck before, you are familiar with the candle tasks and lighting matches. There are also tasks where you are cleaning. These are not new to Goose Goose Duck. We are used to sweeping, wiping things down. There are tasks where you have to move shrubbery out of the way. There's some tasks where you have to etch images into gravestones, where you have to paint things on walls. There is a new task where you have to open up a box of bottles, then you have to sort them into a bag. Of course, our favorite little mouse friend is back hiding inside the holes. You gotta whack him five times in order to complete this task. Okay, this task, you gotta make sure he is buckled down, and then there's another task right below it, and we have to fix his little heartbeat. So all you have to do is make sure his little goose heart is continuously beating. A lot of foul play going on on this map. A lot of the fences will get bent out of shape, so you just gotta fix it all up. Sometimes we gotta tape up our little mummy friendos and occasionally have to fish things out of wells. Sometimes we find out our friends are ducks, so we just have to, uh, you know, get, get rid of them peacefully. No one has to find out. This one's a lot of fun. This is like a uh, little public humiliation task where you uh, throw tomatoes at our little goose friend. We don't know why he's in jail. Um, this one's a lot of fun. You actually have to throw tomatoes at a wall and it seems like there's somebody hiding behind this box throwing things at you and you have to continuously block with your shield and then continue throwing tomatoes until the task is complete. You have to throw five tomatoes on the wall in order to complete that task. This one's basically a matching game. You just have to match all the pictures on the left to make them match to the right. If you mess up, you'll have to restart this task to make sure all of them are complete like they are on the left. You'll find tasks similar to this on a lot of maps. This is a uh, little herbology one where you have to match the little plants to the photos. This task, you don't have to throw dirt into the actual grave. All you gotta do is place a little flower. This is also something that we see on the basement map. Gotta connect the little dots. Flip through the little book. This is a crack the vase one. We see this on the jungle map as well. Throw little stones in the pond. Open up the mummy. Oh no, it's not there. Gonna fill this up. Alright guys, if you guys don't know how to change a wagon tire, I'm about to show you guys right now. You spin the wheel one direction, and then we pull a Harry Styles, go solo, and go the other direction. Good job guys, you guys changed a wagon tire. Alright, this one, all you gotta do is knock on the door. You just gotta make sure that you're knocking within the little boxes right here. You do it a few times. And bang, bang, bang. Good to go. Alright, so this one's actually pretty interesting. If you don't do it in the correct order, you'll get whacked by uh, our little friend up here. He's kinda, he's kinda feisty, very aggressive. We're just gonna, you know, move to the right to the left on this one. This task, you have to point out the differences that are on the left side that are not on the right side, vice versa. 
All right, this one, you gotta make the bed, you gotta fluff out the wrinkles. I know a lot of you gamers don't do this. Trim some bushes, another returning task that we see in Goose Goose Duck quite frequently. This one is interesting. This actually took me a second to figure out. You have to stack things until it reaches the line. And you have to make sure it stays above that line for a certain amount of time. And you gotta give some change to our poor little homeless goose over here. So we have a new friend hiding under this door. We don't know what it is, but he's hungry. So you gotta give him food, he'll eat it, and then he'll spit stuff back out. And if you guys don't know where the bell is, it is going to be located here in the chapel, which is the very center of the map. And yeah, but yeah, these are basically all the tasks that you will be seeing on the new Bloodhaven map. A lot of them are returning. A lot of them are not too difficult this time, um, but some of them can definitely still trick people up. All right, as soon as you spawn into the lobby, you might notice things that are different. All the way to the very left by the teleporter, there is a green glowing icon. This is going to explain to you how corruption works in the game. Now, corruption is very different. This is not on any other maps on Goose Goose Duck. So yeah, that is how you do every task on the Bloodhaven map and a little bit about how the corruption works and why you should do tasks in Goose Goose Duck now.